we've got the push phase, the copy phase. Now we're going to move into the imaging phase. We're going to reboot the same server here. This time we're going to call it CloneZilla Live uh, Light Server. And then we'll multicast uh, to the PCs. So uh, what I want to do here is go back here, tell it power on again. And then I'll, I'll watch it boot. And this time, of course, we're always going to have it large font into RAM. Okay, we'll keep the default keyboard layout. And start CloneZilla. And now we go to Light Server. And we can start CloneZilla Live Light Server. And we'll tell it Netboot, meaning that uh, the clients will boot up by Pixie and connect up. And we'll reuse the DHCP because we're not going to invoke our own DHCP service. It'll ask us if we're sure about that. We are. We'll go ahead and hit enter for yes. OK. And now here we are. So there's two different options we have. The first is we can go back and just tell it copy from that server, that NFS server. But we pre-copied it in the last step, right? So we want to use local uh, storage. And to do that, we enter this uh, command line prompt and do it manually. So I'd enter. And I'm given the root prompt at the bottom. I want to mount the type of file system XFS dev SDA1 storage disk alpha first partition home part image. When I hit that, I have those three images there. Now when I exit, um, I go hit beginner mode. Massive deployments, my only choice here. Even if massive deployments one. Massive deployment from an image. Restore the disk onto the computer disk. And here are my options. And this is the option I want. Oh, actually, I. this is the one I made for us. And put it onto storage disk A for storage disk. Um, I don't need to check it. I could, but. We don't want to watch it on the video. And then um, reboot when the client clone finishes. Multicast restore. Now here we've got our, our question. There's two ways to start this off. One is, say, 10 minutes. You put in a time. In however many machines you can kick uh, hook up to the network before 10 minutes um, and, and boot up those will all be imaged once the timer gets down to zero. Or we can say, just connect up five machines. And once the fifth one's connected up, it's going to go. It's going to say, uh, you know, all aboard that's going aboard and set sail. So let's do that. And I'm going to set that to one. <laughs> and it will create some boot media for the Pixie boot. It'll also handle EFI boot. That's the good part about this uh, CloneZilla Live uh, light server.
Okay, now it's waiting for the machines. Now, unfortunately, my virtual machine will not work for this, but this is where you would connect up the client servers, they'll boot up and uh, they'll be able to image off the server. So that's, that's not part of the demo today, but um, in conclusion, we've got uh, our push done. So we store the image onto a, a temporary storage place, which also becomes an automatic backup for your images. Then we copied the image over here to the uh, Clonezilla Lite server. And we did that with a couple of mount commands and a copy. And then we went ahead and did uh, multicast here. There's also the possibility if you wanted to just image one laptop uh, independently have it boot, you can, you can boot off of that. That's for another day, but you could boot off that into the Clonezilla Lite menu and then just pull an image down one by one. But that's a fairly tedious process compared to simply using the multicast. And that's it for the demo.